afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Washington Nationals and the Milwaukee Brewers. This should be a fun battle to watch and it'll take place right after this. Brandon Woodruff will be the man on the mound for the Brewers. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He will lead this one off today. The Trey Turner. First offering on its way. There's a fastball right down Broadway taken for a strike. First pick, one o'clock. The 0 1 on its way. And that misses one and one. Two and one to count to Trey Turner. Great afternoon for baseball here. 71 degrees, the temperature at first pitch. And a little off to begin the afternoon as it's to three and one now. He's only four pitches in, but he doesn't look too sharp to start the day off. The three one fastball right back to the mound and he'll flip on to first to record the out. Got to get it. The right fielder number two. Adam Eaton. So coming to the plate Adam Eaton his career numbers in this matchup he's just one for six. He's ready here's the first offering. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The 1 0 home is taken. Strike one. Eaton stands 5 9 as you see him in the left handed box. He was selected in the 19th round back in the 2010 first year player draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. And Braun will handle this one for route number two. Batting third, the left field, number 22, Juan Soto. Here now is Juan Soto. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. And set up behind the plate is Joe McDonald, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew in this one. Hey, Joe McDonald, he's a tough guy to figure out sometimes, Dero. One inning, he'll be given that inside corner. The next inning, he doesn't give much of that inside corner. His zone fluctuates a lot. You know, Dan, you could see some definite confusion on the face of some hitters today. Questioning in the strike zone. One pitch is a strike on the outer half. The next time, it's a ball. Kind of a little cat and mouse with the umpire when you should be focused on the pitcher. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Two out, nobody on. And another foul ball. Swing and a miss on a pitch that winds up hitting him. And rather bizarrely, the inning is over. Three up, three down for Washington. And now the Brewers will get their first cuts. No score.
Steven Strasburg. The California-born right-hander is on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Steven Strasburg has been good since he put on a uniform. The pride and joy of San Diego State University. The closest thing we've seen to Nolan Ryan. Mid to upper 90s fastball. Great changeup, great curveball, and great slider. Very, very rarely do you see a guy have a four-pitch mix that's as good as Steven Strasburg's. Here's Eric Sogard. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here it comes. That's a ball. Counts one and That's ball two. The 2 0. This is line to left. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the Brewers get their leadoff man aboard to start out the frame. Hey, you want to be the team on the attack without question. In the bottom of the first, starting it off with a leadoff single gets everyone in your dugout going. And in to hit next is Lorenzo Kane. He swings and grounds it to short. Zips it to Castro for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. And here's Christian Yelich now. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. First delivery to him on the way. Sliced hard on the ground. And the throw is off target there, so he'll reach first base safely. Man, pairs are never welcome. But to make one with two That's outs in the first is especially painful. Now your pitcher has to make extra throws, and that could make the difference in how long he lasts in this game. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And next, the dangerous power threat, Keston Hiera. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. Yelich, the runner at first with two gone. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. One and one. Here it is. One and two now. Strasburg with a check at first. A dive, but he's back. A one two pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. That's a great pitch for a spot like that. It looks like a strike that it just comes in out of the zone. You can command that with movement. It's a very effective pitch. The pitching hitters inside. Here's the two and two. Here's a fly ball well hit. Eaton is under it. And that ends the inning. Milwaukee leaves one, still no score. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Eric Thames. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Eric Thames.
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. Hey, I can only take you inside the mind of the batter right here. I had a lot of swinging bunts in my day. As soon as that ball hits the dirt in front of you, you are getting it down the first baseline. When you smell a knock, I don't care what it looks like, you are getting it down the line. Here's Starlin Castro as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Go ahead run at first. Nobody out. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. And there's ball one. Now the one and one pitch. And this is on the ground of first. Could be two. There's one. The smoke at first, and they get them both. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. So base is empty now after the double play. And standing in is the veteran third baseman as Drupal Cabrera. First pitch on its way. No fastball too high to start him out here, 1-0. Fouled away. Now the 1 1. No score here as we play inning number two. Two and two. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Nothing doing for Washington. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's Ryan Braun now. He'll start things out against Steven Strasburg as we get the inning underway. The left fielder, Ryan Braun. From the stretch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Ready with the nothing and one pitch. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0 and 2. Trying to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. The first baseman. Next for Milwaukee, Justin Smoke. The winning run is at first base. A 
has a look now the pitch no balls in one strike here comes the 0 1. To two balls and two strikes now. He's struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. A runner at first with no outs here. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Great spot on that 2-2 fastball. You can't place it on the inside corner any better than that. And as a hitter, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just right. Love seeing a guy that can work the inside with his fastball. Stepping in now, Omar Narvaez. As he'll watch a first pitch curveball drop in there for strike one. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And this one's in the dirt. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Hit hard toward the right side. And he'll take it to the bag for the out. And there's your unassisted double play. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We've played two full. And we are tied nothing nothing. So digging in now. Kurt Suzuki. 7-8-9. Bottom of the order set to go here in the third. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh one for count. Oh and one here it comes. Cold strike. Oh and two. Let's see if he tries to climb the ladder right here, change his eye level, or bounce something in the dirt. Into the windup. Here comes the O two pitch. Oh. Swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch, and for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Victor Robles digging in now. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Third inning, no score to this point. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And he will smartly swipe that ball away in foul territory, so we likely won't see the bunt again now with two strikes. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. For me, check swings are right there next to bang bang place at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. Here's a called strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. 0-1, the pitch. Now ball, one strike. Oh, 
count is one and two now. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Even at two and two, the pitch. Three balls, two strikes. Trey Turner would be next. Into the windup, the payoff pitch. This is line to left. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. We play two and a half, no score on the show. Austin Voss comes on to work on the mound, hoping to send this one into extra innings. Number 50, Austin Voss. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Stepping in, Orlando Arcia. Not shortstop. Orlando Arcia. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line towards center field. And that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Abisail Garcia will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 24, Abisail Garcia. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. The third baseman, number seven, Eric Dugan. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring in utility man extraordinaire Eric Sogard. First delivery to him on the way. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Sogard affectionately referred to as nerd power thanks to the signature specs. He was taken in the second round back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Now battle. The center fielder, Lorenzo Kane. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Lorenzo Kane. Here comes the first pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. in there for a strike 92 on the radar gun that time the 1 1 there's ball two as the slider dips below the zone bottom of inning number three nothing nothing our score Skied into straightaway right. Eaton is under it. And that's the third out. Brewer strand one will head to the fourth, still scoreless. Aaron Wilkerson, a right handed reliever standing 6 3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Aaron Wilkerson.
Matt Vaskersian back with Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and starting out the inning the exciting speedster Trey Turner. First offering on its way. And a fastball close but ultimately ruled a ball 1 and 0. Oh and this one is hit a ton out to center racing back the center fielder and this one will bounce into the wall and the Nationals get a man into scoring position it's a leadoff double. Wow not sure what the pitcher was thinking serving up a fastball right over the heart of the plate his eyes got as big as saucers as he blasts this thing putting himself at the scoring position to start off the inning. Adam Eaton digging in next and he'll hit with a chance to push across the game's first run. Yeah great RBI opportunity here but at the very least he needs to find a way to advance that runner to third. Small things like that in a tight game can make a big difference. From the belt the pitch starts him out with a changeup for a strike. Hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first in time one away. The left field, number 22, Juan Soto. Juan Soto to the plate now. And he could very well get the intentional pass here as that would set up a potential double play ball that might keep the game tied. First pitch coming, here it is. And that's in there for strike one. Ready with the 0-1. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Clearly staying away from him in this at bat with that runner in scoring position tells me they're trying to force him to reach for something and maybe roll over on. It. Now the one and one pitch. That kept one and two. Ball bounces and this one gets away. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Well, he has nobody to blame but himself. With one out, a runner on third can come home to score all sorts of ways. That's why, as a pitcher, you have to execute pitches even better when there are runners on base. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And a big out there as the go-ahead run stays at third with two gone now. Well, their chances of pushing across a run took a pretty good hit after that strikeout. It's so much tougher to score a guy from third with two outs instead of one. Basically, you need a hit or you need to get lucky with a wild pitch or a pass ball. In now, Eric Thames. This he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. And he bats in a big spot here. Go ahead, run at third, two men out. The 0 1 offering. And here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. You know, I'm not sure he didn't throw that pitch out of the zone on purpose. They've been swinging at pretty much everything he throws, so why not give it a shot? Two balls and a strike.
the set and the 2 1 line to the right side but that's a foul ball. Two and two here it is fastball didn't miss by much and it's a full count now three and two Starlin Castro would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And he missed with it there ball four it's a two out walk with the runner still at third. Now that second base. So striding forward now Starlin Castro as he'll hit with the go ahead run at third and two away. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center and this is down for extra bases and with two out this might get them both home and the run will score as the Nats are off to a one nothing lead. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Here now is his dribble Cabrera. Took something off there, but this is hit well anyway out to deep center. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. One for the Nationals on the RBI double. Last chance coming up for the Brewers. It's now 1-0 Washington. In is Christian Yelich. Leading off for the Brewers, the right fielder, Christian Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. One out. The 1 0 home. You never want to fall behind as a pitcher, but doing it to a guy like this is even worse. He's got to bear down and execute for the rest of this at bat starting right now. A bouncer up the middle. Turner loves it. And there's one down now. Now that the second baseman gets there. You're up. So one away here with the bases empty and in at the plate steps Keston Huron. First pitch of the at bat. Now a big fastball and he's well behind it with the swing. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Robles waits on it. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Up next to Milwaukee, the left fielder, Ryan Braun. Coming to the plate now, Ryan Braun. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Now the pitch. Count one and oh. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. And I believe he broke the plane of the plate there. He most certainly did. It's a ball and a strike. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. A ball and two strikes now. The Brewers down to their final strike. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. Wow, that's a rarity. A 1-0 game in baseball these days. Both of these pitchers pitched awfully well. It's a shame one of them had to lose this game. A single run good enough to do it today. 1-0 the final score.
Washington took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Austin Voss gets the W on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line.